Hey everybody, this is Lady M and I'm with Overaptor and we're on the Magicraft server and we wanted to talk about something special today. Yeah, that's right, we're gonna talk about uh Minecon. Minecon it's, it's probably a little bit late, but I not I I haven't really had time to record anything about it before now, so Yeah, I didn't either and oh it's been what, two weeks ago, I guess. I know, it's crazy. Time flies. Wow. So I know everybody else had their uh, their Minecon experiences out there, but we didn't do any vlogs or anything. We just ex experienced vlog, vlog, your mom, yeah. whatever. <laughs> anyway. Anyway. Where do you want to start? Probably at the beginning. That's usually a pretty good place to start. Well, let's see. In the beginning, there was <laughs> me going to Maine to meet with Overaptor. Yes, that is the first thing to happen. Spend a few days, uh, catch up on some movies and stuff. Then Maine is awesome. It is pretty awesome. I enjoyed it. Then we went to, took a bus to Boston. Yes, and then we flew on a hey. plane. What? It's on your back. What? It's not the right one. What? Oh, no. No, it, because th this one matches my skin, the other one doesn't. Oh, hey, look on my back. Whoops. Wow, you've got like Give a me back, a second. Back, Give me a second. A book and a scroll. Boom. Oh, okay, there you go. Yep, that's the new one right there. I'm sorry, I just had to do that. That's the new one from this year. Yep. That makes four. Yep. Anyway, as we were anyway, saying, back to the story. Um, we flew from Boston to London. We flew from Boston to London and on a plane. Got there about six thirty in the morning. Uh, I decided to sleep on the plane, and I, she decided not to sleep on the plane. I watched three movies to, or, instead of sleeping. Yeah. So I was pretty tired all day, but yeah. we we were met at the airport by the lovely Page of Maces who got up at 4.30 in the morning to meet us at 6.30 in the morning and go with us to check into the hotel. So that was really awesome. Yes. Very good job there, Paige. Made us feel very comfortable. We appreciate that. And I'm glad that she was there because the airport is on the complete western end of London and the it took about convention was in the like complete eastern end of London, so it was like yeah, it was like, it was an, like an, hour an hour and a half, an hour and a half just to get to the By, hotel. I keep calling it the subway, but I know it's called the tube or the, the underground. underground. But Caesar says subway, you know. Yeah. So uh, the tube is pretty easy to say. Well, I forget to say the tube, and I just say the subway. Anywho. So yeah, so we checked, well, we didn't get to check in because we got there so early. They stored our right. bags. We stayed at the Novotel, which was literally like outside the convention center. You walk down some steps, you go down and uh, there a you pathway are. and there you are. Yeah, literally it was that close. So we stored our bags and there were now three of us and we went to the King's Cross train station and met Starlet. Who took a train there. Took a train, took a train, took a train, took a train, yeah. From took a train. wherever she lives, I don't actually know. Yes, yeah, so while we were Specifically at where she lives. King's Cross, we saw the Harry Potter station nine and three quarters. And... And I bought, there was a shop, and I bought a wand And the, uh, the rest of us waited outside because there was a lot of people in there. There were a <laughs> lot of people in there, and we got a nice photo. So once we had Starlet... We went... We went, back to the hotel yeah, to check in. Yeah, we could check in. And that's when we discovered... Dun, dun, dun. The shower. The shower. The famous shower. So I don't... We, we go in and we say, oh, this room is pretty nice. And then we turn around and we look at the wall. And it's a glass wall between the bed and the shower. Literally, glass. See through it. You could see who's in the shower. You could see who's sitting on the potty. And we were both standing Potty like... Even with your grandkids, <laughs> haven't you? Maybe. The toilet. The porcelain god, the big yes, John. Yes, you could see all the yeah. way in there. It's ridiculous. And the 
the look on Ovi's face was absolutely priceless. It was just like, what are we gonna do? Oh my god! Oh my god! And I'm we're just laughing, and there's four of us just laughing. And yeah, like out of it. Just, it was ridiculous. And, and it, at first we didn't know how it worked, but and so you went. I went to downstairs go, to ask, like, say, uh, can uh, we get a different room? This is not going to work for you've us. You've got a see-through bathroom here. And while she was down there, we, I found a button and I pushed it, and the glass turned opaque. So and we were like, oh, first phew. time ever in a hotel have I ever stayed in in my entire life that there's a glass wall that turns opaque for the bathroom. And yeah, I'm actually that... okay never doing that again. So I, I have to say, I can't imagine why that would ever need well, to not be opaque. There might be occasions it could be fun, but... It, it seems ridiculous and unnecessary. It was weird. Yeah. I mean, it, the effect is really, really cool. But we had a good laugh uh, at it. It was weird. We wrote a little song that nobody can remember, and yeah. Paige wrote it down. That was but fun. I, yeah, I think we'll the, eventually have lyrics to it. But She has the notebook, so I don't, I don't know what they were. Yeah, so once that fun was over... Oh, and I think Star got some video of it. I meant to video it, and I never did, and I should have. But oh, anyway, well. so we went to... Uh, there are four of us now, and we, we in the evening, we took the train tube. The tube. To the, the underground. To pick up when Winter Loves, Poet Plays, and we also found Liam there. Uh, Is that not right? Not Liam. Uh, Fabe. 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 Fabe the Babe, yep. And, yeah, it was pretty funny because, like, we knew they were get, getting in, but like we didn't know exactly when they were going to show up. So we're like all like right near the entrance of where everyone leaves yeah. the terminal. And we waited there a while. We had sign and everything. Mm -hmm. So they were extremely tired. They'd been literally traveling for hours all they day They had long. a very long delay in mm -hmm. Poland. Mm -hmm. So by this time, I hadn't slept in, what, 38 hours. So she was, she was tired. After we picked them up, we all kind of rode the trains back to where the hotel is, and they went and found their place, and we went back to our place, and I fell asleep. Did so I do anything else? That was else? day one. I have no idea what you did. I don't remember. Oh, you think you went out, because I took a shower uh, that I night. Th oh, yeah, I think... Uh, I think we met up with... Oh yeah, we met up with uh, Rain and Graf and Taz mm -hmm. in the Fox, which is like where everyone. Oh hung yeah, out, just convention. downstairs, very, very, very close. I mean, yeah. it's not like we hung out very long because yeah. it was it was late was by tired. then, and uh, the place was closing, so everyone yeah. pretty much just went to bed. So the next day, day I guess that was our day one. Mm -hmm. So our day two would have been Friday before Minecon, and Indeed. I was I was working that day. I was volunteer this time. I did not volunteer this time. So I went and got all my stuff and checked in, and my job was to put together the uh, help put together the carnival area. They had yes. Minecraft related games where you could win prizes. So we had to help set all that up, and then I ended up in the afternoon painting little figures that go in these uh, game areas. That's pretty cool. So it was pretty cool. Enjoyed that, and it was fun. I, oh to yeah, I remember you coming back with paint in your hands. Yeah, it was fun to see the um, the little things done and being used the next day. Yes, because somebody was texting me something about an iron for a oh. shirt. <laughs> Yeah, somebody so doesn't know how to use an iron. So she taught me how to use an iron. So I taught him how to use an iron. Because he was getting all dressed up to go to uh, the... And a little forward... Uh, oh, you want to go a little back first? Well, yeah, well, while you were working, uh, there was the Graf and MK patron yeah. meetup. Patron yeah. sub How did that go? Thing. That was fine. Everyone just hung out and ate food and talked. 
Mm-hmm. That's about all the weekend was. And you food, you talk. showed up at lunchtime briefly. I did to say hi to everybody. Uh, but then briefly. you had to go back to work. I did. Work. Uh, but then after that, I went back and she I was like, you. "Oh crap! This needs to be ironed. It got wrinkled." And then hey, it was... there's a house. Your phone's a house. Um. No, right down here. Where are you? Okay. Uh. Anyway, she helped me with the iron, and we were wearing more formal clothes to the Minecraft party. And, Minecraft, Minecraft. Uh, I. Where are you? Are you Coming down here to see where the house is. Oh yeah. It's gonna That's be a little. New. Geronimo. So I went like right when it started. With who was I with? I was with uh. Um. Page. There was a. Oh, I can't remember specific because like who we hung out with changed. Ooh. I think it was like Page. I don't remember specifically well, started. Anyway. Yeah, but you went early yeah. with some people's. We hung out and with like I, a, a, wow, a ton of people that I couldn't even possibly name entirely. I bet this is B Rand's place. Considering he's done more here than us, I would, yeah. wouldn't be surprised. Yeah. Now it's a little later because part of another group, uh, they were all coming in and you I had met to go up. Pick them out the ho the but yeah, with the immersive thing. community, and we, yeah, went to pick up uh, Falaron at the airport, and then he joined us at the Minecraft. Minecraft slash Twitch. And some of the things I did was I played bumper cars with like Rain and Taz and Paige and. Too many people named. Uh, I played some games with some peoples. One thing I was I thought was kind of funny is I, I played a uh, a motorcycle game. Yeah. With Taz and oh I beat him. Oh my god! You did? <laughs> yeah. Isn't that his thing? That is his thing. I'd... Oh no. It was. It was. Just, it's probably not really like, actually. Probably not. Yeah. But. Anyway, it was a lot of well, fun. That sounds fun. Yeah, we got delayed. I didn't even realize all the games were free. And I just sort of, we had access to the VIP area, so I just kind of went to talk to everybody. Yeah, and then just a lot of just a lot of stuff going talk. on. Yeah. But I didn't stay very long. No, uh, she got there late and then she left early. Yeah. Then we went back. I, I don't know what you did after you left. Uh, Pretty much just went back to the hotel with the group and then um, they all... Everybody was tired. They went to bed, so I actually got to bed early, mm. which is okay. Uh, on my end of things, we stayed till the we end, and they started late, kicking late. everybody out. It's like, okay, I guess we gotta go now. So Saturday. Saturday. Uh, oh, I already knew I was supposed to volunteer on Saturday, but because I was on two panels, they switched me with Sunday, so I actually had Saturday free. And I think I got up. Oh, yeah, I got up and ate breakfast because I really hadn't eaten a lot. I had a nice big breakfast and went over to the convention center and kind of just. Uh, I, I was a part of this breakfast as well. Not not that day. Saturday? Is it? Yeah, that was the day Paige made us. Oh, she came over. Okay. In the hotel yes. and then we all walked over together. Yes, yes, yes. And then yes. you found. Found uh, the immersive group. And then I wanted to go. We walked in, you know, went, uh, we saw the opening, did we? We did. We saw, saw the, the opening, opening ceremony. ceremony. Yeah. And after that, we went to the, the expo floor and I wanted to see the, uh, the stage for our panel. Right. And you wanted to do it. Well, I don't know what you wanted to do. I was playing games and stuff. So you were playing games and stuff. So when we walked yeah. more apart. Yes, we were part most of the... So it's mostly, for me, Saturday, you know, looking around the, the floor, you know, hanging out with people uh, until it was time for the panel. Yep. And we were on the same... Oh, oh, oh. We, before we go to the panel, mm -hmm. uh, for me, at lunchtime, me and Paige went out and oh, had, had lunch thing. with uh, uh, three other members from DV, Decidedly Vanilla, 
and also Cookie Monster, who is oh yeah, he's isn't part he amazing? Of, he's part of Cherry Patch, which DV he's is part of, on the same server as right. Cherry Patch, he's also so. part of the immersive community. Yes. so he was kind of going between all the groups and meeting all the people and. It was like amazing. So that was a really fun lunch. We all had fun. And then after that, we came back and we panel met. Panel time, right? Yeah, we met in the, the panelist room, talked very briefly about our panel, and then we went you and know, I did think our it, panel. I think it went pretty well considering... I didn't do any talking. Yeah. <laughs> well... Basically, we we weren't as prepared as I'd hope we were, but I think we, we pulled we didn't, it off we didn't really have well. Much notice, but yeah. Basically, you guys talked about fundamentals of building really big things, and then during this right. whole thing, we got suggestions from the audience of something for me to build, and they wanted me to build the London Eye, so I built the London Eye during the panel. Yeah, so that was one of the things we decided to do while we were talking. Um, Ovi was going to do a live build of something on the spot that was pretty epic because it was about epic builds. So my my part of the whole thing was a moderator, which you know to introduce, keep the conversation going, and all that. And and that panel had um, you and Graf and uh, Theo the Ape and two guys from is it Blocks Work Block Works I think. Uh, Ruben and James. I, I think I think so, and I apologize. I can't remember, but my notes are not. Should have should have written this down. Oh well. Well, the notes I had, I, I didn't keep. I just yeah. I had a whole bunch of notes there. Yeah, I don't have any with me either. Uh, anyway. Yeah, so it went it went really well, and by the time we ended, you built a pretty good. It one wasn't tonight. finished. An hour is really not enough mm -hmm. time to finish it, but. One of the difficulties I say, was I was playing on one monitor, so I didn't really want to look things up on Google. So I built a circle from scratch with no reference. Yeah, that <laughs> I had no good. reference for the London Eye either. So. But considering we did a panel, the last MineCon, which uh, had you and me and Alan and some other people who had won build competitions. Again, I was moderating. But we, you know, I know the room was smaller last time, and this time we were on the expo floor. Yeah. And we every seat was filled. People were standing and listening, and I it believe cool. that we retain more audience this time Definitely. than before. So I was pretty excited about that. You know. Yeah, I think people weren't getting up and walking away. And and last time we ran out of things to say, mm -hmm. and no one had questions for us. Right. We well, we did early. question answer. We ended early. But this, this time, time we filled the whole slot. Yeah, we did a Q and A, and it kept going. So it turned out really well really well and then then we had or you, i had you guys a second had to go panel right up back up there didn't you Oops. yeah if i shouldn't even have left i should just stayed right there well you but had to talk about the panel the next panel was godiva gaming uh there were 10 ladies from godiva gaming group and we talked about uh gaming together and making friendships which is what mine Kong called it um and they, they had questions already done that uh, MK moderated. Um, we So we sort of knew what was coming, and then we took questions from the audience, and uh, that panel also went very well. And I was relieved when it was all over with, though. <laughs> it's like, freedom! No more panels. And then I think we all headed to the pub and had a drink and ate dinner and relaxed. Before, before we did that, though, <laughs> you guys like were signing a bunch of autographs after that panel. Oh yeah, I did sign a few. And it's kind of weird. Like, and that that what? was probably one of my favorite memories of the convention is these all these people are going and signing your stuff, and then this woman comes up with with her two uh, girls, and she yeah. looks at me and says, "Are you somebody? <laughs> are you somebody?" I'm like, and you said, uh, "What do you uh, maybe?" And she's like, and she my badge was flipped, so the 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 label yeah. was on facing me. She flips it over and says. <gasps> And it says panelist on it. It's just you are somebody. It's like, will you will you sign this stuff for my girls? I'm like, uh, <laughs> sure. So I signed sure. both of their. I think they were, had, both had swords. I signed both That's of exciting. their swords. I said, do you mind if we get uh, a, a picture? So I took. She took my picture with both of them, and I. Okay. Well, that's exciting. I think I gave them a business card too. Just yeah. So they, I don't think I really took pictures with anybody signing. I just had pictures with yeah. friends. 
So that was probably my, would have. my favorite memory of the actual convention. Aw, that's really cool. So then there was Sunday, the last day and of You the had to work. I had to work, and I went early. Got my stuff. And my, my job that day was up in the platinum panel room. So it was kind of upstairs from where the agent room was. It wasn't on the floor. So it's kind of away from everybody. And hmm. there were four panels that day. Some of them were pretty big. Like, the first one had Dragnaws in it. But I have to say, at least working that, I got hugs from Dragnaws, so that was well worth <laughs> it. Then later in the day, there was, uh, I has Cupquake was there with her husband. And then I think the um, Hypixel guys were there at the end. Uh, as so yeah, that was, a, that was a busy day. As for me, uh, I got there not as early as, as she did, but I got there before it opened. And I was by myself because obviously she had already left. And I just randomly found Taz. Uh, so we decided to go check out Small World. And the guy in the line said it was open and running. But it, I don't think it was actually running until 10 o'clock. But we went and saw Small World. That was kind of cool. A little bit later, uh, a guy comes in. I can't remember his name. Uh, but he comes in and says, uh, somebody has canceled for signings in the meet and greet booth. We need people to come down and sign stuff for people. Oh, wow, that's crazy. And so crazy. he grabbed me, Graf, and Theo, and we all went down there and signed autographs for people waiting in so line. So did you, like, sit behind a table? And... No, no, we, we walked the oh. line. So they were waiting in line, and we went into line and si signed that stuff. That sounds like a Johnny Cash song. <laughs> I walked the line. Yeah, not that kind of walking line. Okay. So we did that, and that was kind of cool. Like, I you guarantee nobody there knew who I was. But nice. then after that, um, a bunch of us went and ate dinner. And then we were going to go <laughs> watch the closing ceremony. But we got there, like, right before it started. So there was, like, literally no seats. So, so we're like, yeah... We're just going to go back to the Fox because there's just nowhere to sleep. Yeah, I actually made it to closing ceremony. My job was done, so I got to. From what I heard, there. there wasn't a lot to see. It was pretty much just um, thanking us. Yeah, it wasn't a whole lot, but it was still kind of nice and kind of sad at the same time. Well, my group after that, we uh, we took the. You know how from the hotel you could see, or the, from the convention center, there were like. Uh, oh, the, the. The gondola thing, the. Skyline. Yeah. Whatever it's. Well, we we rode that over and then found the O2 Center and ate dinner at Nando's, which was my request because I've never eaten at Nando's. I think and what it is. It's a chicken place that I've been hearing all about, and I thought it was spectacular. No, actually, it was just okay. <laughs> you know, there wasn't anything that great about it. On my end of things, after like tons and tons of people were getting out from the closing ceremony we ended up going and hanging out in like bars with a bunch of people and mine crackers were there and cheer that people he's hanging out in bars i didn't drink anything <laughs> i didn't say that it's okay if you did but no it was fun. it was just hanging out and talking so that was cool mm -hmm. stayed up way too late didn't get back till like 2 a.m. again. Yeah. But it was fun. Um, yeah, it was fun. It was kind of. And then. Sad to see it all end. And then on Monday, you left on Monday, right? I left, yeah. Uh, took a train to Scotland. So, anyway, all of us went out and did sort of like a walking tour of London. And That's cool. It, it was like the the fastest walking tour ever because we didn't really stop and do anything. Yeah. Uh, but the first place we went was the police box in, I think it was Earl's Court. Mm -hmm. Correct me if I'm wrong, but... I don't know. <laughs> and then we ate lunch, and a few people left after we ate lunch. And then we headed, we walked for quite a ways down this really weird road that didn't look like a road but there were cars driving it so it must have been a road 
and we went to the Natural History Museum. Spent about 10 mm -hmm. minutes in there. Saw a cool Diplodocus and really neat architecture. Like, what is Diplodocus? I guess it's a dinosaur. Yeah. Never mind. Go ahead. It's a long neck dinosaur. It's a dinosaur. Anyway, okay. so that we did that. Uh, I, I could have spent hours in that place, but we obviously didn't have that mm -hmm. much time, so right. we kept walking. And we, I think we went to Hyde Park and walked, walked in Hyde Park, saw this monument to somebody that I don't know what it was for. It's really big. Yeah. And then we walked by a palace that I can't remember the name of. What happened to Mr. Encyclopedia? Rain was telling us what everything name. was, but I don't remember oh. what he said. Um, oh. And I didn't look it up later, so. And then the next day you flew home. Yep. Right. And the next day I flew home. And uh, that was Minecon. That was Minecon. So how do you think it rated compared to the previous three we've been through? The actual convention itself, ignoring all of the pre-stuff, was really, really good. It was really well mm -hmm. done. All the shows and stuff were really nice. Um, I really liked that the panel room wasn't like just op a door open to the, the middle of the main hall. You actually had some privacy yeah. there. I went the, the the panels room was really cool because there was a balcony at the back where you could just look out onto the water. That was mm -hmm. cool. I actually, they, I think they pulled it together really well. I mean, there's still, you could uh, there, debate a few things about how it was, but security was good. Um, I think the panelists scheduling the times and all how that worked out seemed to, to do very well. Uh, I still think they have to work on the volunteer system and the people, and especially the people managing the volunteers, because it, it did seem a little, um, you know, it seemed uh, people didn't know what to do a lot of the time. There was nobody to really tell them, and luckily they had a lot of good people who used their head, mm -hmm. you know, could self-initiate. So yeah, so. they still need to work on the organization beforehand because... Mm -hmm. everything was like last minute so it was really hard to know what was going to yeah. happen so I didn't hear any rumors about maybe where the next one is did you? nope I, mm. nope I didn't at all so I'm assuming it'll be the US probably but I the question I, uh, is when I'm mm. hoping they go back to November times because those are much better not as hot. Yeah, uh, and easier for yeah. me to manage because it doesn't conflict with anything else. Yeah. yeah. But overall, good mind con. Good mind con. All right. So All I right. think we're going to call it there. That's I hope you enjoyed this episode. Our recap, our very long. <laughs> but we had a lot to say. Mm -hmm. Our very long recap. All right. Well, we'll see you later. See you guys. Mr. Ovi Raptor. Miss. And everybody. Lady M. Bye. Hey. Bye.